Mmm. Hate her. Mmm. Don't like her at all. Mmm. He's tired. Mmm. They should be canceled. They, mm, 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 mm. Oh, hi, y'all. Y'all caught me right in the middle of my review for Bad Boys Club LA. Meowdy, I'm Miss Kid Litter ATX, and I'd like to welcome you to the new Mew Review. And today we're talking about Camp Wanakiki Season 4 Cast Reveal, y'all. Who's excited? I'm so excited that I almost wet on myself. Well, I say almost, but... <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, let's talk about it. But before we get into it, I need to send a special shout out to my drag family members. Um, first of all, howdy meowdy to Holiday Cash, my drag daughter. Also to Michael Armand, my drag son. And of course, our beloved Ernestine here. Y'all say hi to Ernestine there. She's our drag cat, okay? Nice dropping by. Thanks. Anyways, let's talk about these campers. First out the gate, we have Flapjack. Flapjack describes themselves as a campy, kooky concept queen from Birmingham, Alabama. Now, how do I personally know Flapjack? Well, let me tell y'all the story. Back when we were at the height of the pandemic from that COVID madness, um which still isn't over, by the way. Um, yes, they were doing an online digital drag show that was called Flavor of the Month. And they were kind enough to invite me to be one of their guests. We got to kiki a little bit. And I got to find out a little bit about them and just fell in love with them. Funny, campy. If you haven't seen them, uh, look them up online. Hilarious. Alrighty, so moving right along, next up we have somebody else who I just adore. Uh, Y'all give it up for Clinica Depressius. Now, Clinica Depressius, I'm going to have to read this one out. Hails from Columbus, Ohio, and describes themselves by they, them, mayhem, non-binary, gender paralysis, demon, okay? Let me tell you what I know about Clinica Depressius, okay? Clinica has done some just amazing and hilarious performances. Uh, we're going to talk about Ted Cruz, Plastic Bags, all that. Um, look them up online and you will see the amazing uh, work that they have done. Absolutely astounding. I'd like to tell y'all, please uh, look up all these entertainers, performers, whatnot online. Uh, follow them on social medias, the Instagrams, the Facebooks, the Twitters, all that. And show them some love when you can. If you're a a person who gets to book people, you know, hire them folks, please. They need new shoes. All right, moving right along, we have another person who I'm just absolutely just gobsmacked about. We're talking about Coco Chanel. Now, what I know about Coco Chanel is that they are from Chicago. They are part of drag royalty out there. Y'all know three words, Chicago drag excellence. It's a real thing, okay? And uh, this person has worked with people like, oh, hell, uh, Vivian DuJour out there and uh, uh, Yuka Lame. And, of course, who can forget uh, Muffy Fish Basket from season one of everyone's favorite show, Camp Wanakiki. Yeah, uh, they all hang out and do shows and whatnot, so she coming from a strong background. Already looked them up online, and they just doing it. So, uh, this going to be a strong contender, y'all. Also, another friend who uh, I just got to meet very recently in the flesh, um, Coleslaw, y'all. Now, Coleslaw says that they don't like Coleslaw, you know, but they're from Boston, Massachusetts. Um, they are uh, the... Oh, Planetary Queen of New England. Okay. All I know is they out of this world. How do I come to know about Coleslaw? Well, I believe that first of all, that I heard about them through the Serve Network because they are friends with Violencia! Exclamation point, who some of y'all may know from Dragula. Also, uh, I recently took a trip 
shout out to uh, my friends in Rhode Island uh, to perform at Stable PVD. Hi, Nanny. Hi, Steve. Love y'all. At any rate, um, Coleslaw was the DJ that particular night. We got a chance to talk, and I tell you, just a kinder human being that you'll never meet in your life. Uh, so fun, so funny, so I'm there for it. Just 110%. Come on, let's see what you got. Serve it up with some barbecue, and I'm there for it, okay? I like a good, tasty coleslaw. Moving right along is somebody who got mixed up in my notes. Do we have a person? Okay. Here we go. It's Vincent Malay, y'all. Vincent Malay is a drag king out of Seattle. And I'm sorry, let me let me get this right now. It is the first on a reality drag show trans man drag queen king did i get it right first out of the gate trans man drag king okay woo that's a lot uh hails from seattle as i said um and i need to point out to y'all if y'all ain't showing the love to the kings out there then uh what the hell you sleeping on i gotta tell you it's a lot of work, just as much, if not more, to be a drag king than a drag queen. So consider yourself schooled if you don't know. Uh, Vincent also hangs out with the likes of people like Peaches Christ, who is a drag legend in their own right, um, and is a huge part of the scene up there. So if y'all people don't know, uh, Vincent coming for you on the West Coast, okay? Um, and I'm excited to see what... He is going to bring to the party. Next out of the gate, we have Deja Della Toro. Okay, Deja, Deja Vu, um, is from Toledo, Ohio, and it describes themselves as the as a superhero of drag. Uh, you know, I had to laugh. This was one of the first times during the whole. Uh, uh, reveal of the cast that I just laughed out loud and it was because of the hair moment that they had when they uh, blew the hair up out of their face. I just, I don't know why, but it got me tickled. I thought it was funny. Uh, I see them having like a very interesting sense of comedy and while I don't know this person personally, I think that they're going to be one to watch out for also. Uh, next up, we have Lily St. Queer. Okay, first of all, I'm there for it just because of the name. Um, it takes as reference. Maybe some of you know Lily St. Cyr, who is a uh, burlesque entertainer. But lest you think that only burlesque is what they're bringing to the party, uh, this entertainer from Philadelphia, PA, um, has a YouTube presence that's just absolutely hysterical with some of the best uh, how-to videos uh, that you've ever seen in your life. I believe this person also plays the piano. I believe that they do a lot of things, uh, that they're they're doing their costumes, they're doing makeup, they're doing all that. So I can't wait to see what's going to happen with that. Next up, we have Opal Essence. Now, Opal, of course, is another person who I know and love. Uh, they describe themselves as the Muppet Queen of Albany, New York. I could go there with some Jim Henson jokes about hands going up inside things. And I, yeah, I, anyways, what can I tell you about Opal? Opal, uh, as my memory serves, which it rarely does, uh, is actually comes from a theater background. And also some off, 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 off Broadway kind of performing. Um, that being said, uh, they're, they're coming at you with the talent. Opal knows how to sew. She does her own costume. She knows how to do makeup. She knows how to throw a lip sync out there. Um, and one thing I can say, almost all these entertainers, when I look them up online, their uh, lip syncs were off the chain, y'all. So I'm going, and some of them even sing live. 
So I really hope that uh, CW will do some kind of a uh, lip sync during the course of the season. Or maybe have uh, some queens do a, uh, a drag off kind of thing to, to see. Because that would be everything. But I know copyrights are a thing. Um, next up, we have somebody else who's near and dear to where I used to have a heart. Uh, that would be Hillary Yass. Hillary Yass uh, comes from, get it, Hillary Yass? Okay. Anyways, they're from Canada. Okay. Yeah, well, that's their joke. But anyways, I'm trying to incorporate it into the scheme of this review. Uh... Hillary, I know, because, um, first of all, they had a huge, uh, YouTube sensation with their show Keeping Up With The COVID. It's absolutely hysterical. If you haven't seen it, give it a look. Funny, funny stuff. Um, also, I got to be on Hillary's show, uh, Coffee With Hillary as a special guest one time. And, uh, she definitely brings the wit and the sarcasm and the charm and humor and camp, so, uh, super excited, Hillary. Uh, yay. I can't wait to see what you do. Yes. Yes. Get it? And, you know, we'll forgive the Canada thing. Oh, wait. This is gonna be on Out TV, which is from Canada. Oh, okay. I get it. Anyways, but that being said, yeah, I can't wait to see what Hillary brings. Next out the gate, we got Paula Frost. This is another person who I uh, admire from afar, uh, and they are from Morrisville, Pennsylvania. Why do I love this person so much? Well, listen, I'm a sucker for a blue rinse, y'all, and Paula Frost is giving you that uh, aqua do thing, okay? So I'm already there for it. Come through, Cerulean. Um, also, Paul is another entertainer who's just, like, legendary in the community, has done just everything. She's, like, she's everywhere. She's doing everything. She is everything. She's Paula Frost, y'all. Uh, she's got, uh, presents. She's got campy stuff going on. She's got comedy. Just all kinds of talents are there. So, what we have at the sum of this is, like, 10 phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal campers, okay? Did I say phenomenal already? Yeah, I think I did. Okay, so I'm super excited. Who do we think is going to take the crown? Well, actually, the truth being told, none of them, because I already done stoked it, and uh, Miss Kid Letter ATX is going to be your new queen of camp. Uh, no, that's not happening. At any rate, I'm super excited to see what all of these folks are going to bring to the party. Who are y'all rooting for? Let me know in the comments section. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, this being Pride Month, I just have to put it out there um, that I don't care who you are in this world. I don't care if you gay, you straight, you bi, you transgender, whatever you is out there in the world. Um, allies, I love you too. Um, just everybody, intersex, LGBTQIA, um, BLT, all of you. I'm there for you, and just know that at the end of the day, be true to your own self. Maybe nobody gets it, maybe three people get it, but somebody out there eventually is going to respond to you, and that's going to become your tribe, y'all. And never let anybody make you feel less than because you're not, okay? That's the fresh tip from Miss Kid Litter ATX and Ernestine. Right, girl? Right. All right, moving right along, I want to send a shout out to the Sugar Baker Twins and dear Ruthie Keister. Thank you so much for, uh, for putting together just a phenomenal cast this season. I'm so gagged, gooped, and giggling because I know, like, just about everybody here, and I can't wait to see what they're going to do. Um, for a commercial break, if you haven't yet ordered it, the book Legends of Drag is now out. Uh, it's by Harry James Hansen and Devin Anthias. It features uh, many drag performers of a certain age. Uh, 
I myself might be in there as well as the Sugar Baker Twins and uh, Ruthie Keister as well as uh, some of my other friends. Shout out to all y'all out there who in the book, you know who you are and I love you. Can't mention everybody or I forget somebody would get mad. You know how that goes. Uh, happy Pride Month, y'all. Live live your best life. Love your friends and all that. If you want to drop me a little love, it's Venmo at Kitty Litter ATX. And thanks for stopping by the new Mew Review. Come on, Camp Wanakiki Season 4. <laughs> Now I need a cocktail, y'all. I'm done.